Hi you guys, this is Easy Exposure Tutorials about Photography. A lot of you requested for me to do the lesson on how to put the watermarks on your images in Photoshop. So I decided to do the lesson about this. And uh, in this lesson I will show you three ways how to put watermark on your images. First we will be putting watermark on a single image, then we create an action well, which will automatically put watermark on your image and we also We'll take a look how to create the uh, action to batch process a lot of images at a time and put the watermarks on a lot of images. So let's get started. First of all, I will show you how to place your copyright watermark on a single image and I usually place the copyright watermarks only or my logo only on the images which will go for web I don't place them on the images which will go for print and for web there is no need to have a huge image it's a good practice to resize your image and lower your resolution so even if somebody decides to steal an image, they still can't print it because of the low resolution. So, um, this image has been resized to 72 pixels per inch resolution, which is perfect resolution for web. And uh, on the longer side, it's 1000 pixels, but this is depends where your image uh, will be placed. It might vary. But 72 is a perfect resolution for web. And I have a video where I show you how to resize your images for web. And then you click OK. And we have resized image right here. And let's place copyright watermark on this image. To place the copyright watermark, we go to this tool, which is called a horizontal type tool. We grab it. And then we click anywhere in the image where we wish watermark to appear. And let's add the copyright symbol first. And on Mac it will be Option G. On PC it's a little more complicated. It will be Alt 0169. Then we can add a year. Not sure I like this type. And then you can add your name or name of your company. And if you don't like the type, you can change it. Just highlight your watermark like this with a mouse. And then you can go to types and just change it to fonts and change your font. Let's see. Like this. Uh, all right, this is just an example. I'm not going to play too long with it. You can also change the size right here and also the color. Actually, I prefer either white or black watermarks. I don't think red is really nice or green. It's way too distracting. You don't want your watermark to be distracting. So I prefer a white one. Also, don't place your watermarks right like in the middle of the image because the goal of watermark is protect your image and also let people know who was who took the image, but you don't want your watermark to take away from the image and make your image look bad because big, large watermarks somewhere in the middle can really make image look bad. Also, sometimes it's a good idea to place your watermark on the places like this where you have a plain background, but I think the logos look better like this than the copyright. So I prefer to have it right here. Also, um, it depends what your background is behind the watermark. Sometimes you have a really light background and if you have a white watermark, it won't stand out. So if you, uh, you can either use black watermark or you can also use white, but you can uh, add a drop shadow to it. And to add the drop shadow to your watermark, um, here you have your layers. This is the layer with a picture, but click on the layer where your watermark is and then double click. When you double click uh, the new palette, which is layer styles open and you go to the last menu 
which is drop shadow and just click on it and there is a drop shadow behind your watermark and you can control it with the sliders right here so opacity and when you're satisfied click OK you see it kind of makes your watermark stand out a little bit better you can also lower opacity of your watermark so it's less distracting and to lower opacity make sure your layer is selected and go right here to opacity menu and just slide the light slider down this will look much better this will not distract you can still see it but this will not distract from your image and this is how you add the watermark to a single image and now I will show you how to create an action which will let you to place the same watermark on other images and first of all you want to open the action panel and you go to window and you make sure that actions are checked and see action panel shows up I will add it right here so we have action panel okay so you can see both layers and actions and as you can see we already have default actions and the borders actions but we can create a new folder with all our watermark actions because we might have a few different watermarks uh, for example we just have copyright watermark or watermark with our logo or watermarks we place on horizontal images or vertical images or different size of images so to create the new folder with actions you click on the folder right here folder icon and then we call this watermarks click OK and you, as you can see new folder create has been created and then we will create a new action with watermark inside this folder to create a new action we click on this icon right here which looks kinda like a piece of paper and we will call it watermark one you can call it whatever you want as long as you will recognize it and then we click record and as, as soon as, as we click record as you can see record button is pressed it will start recording all the steps we will be doing afterwards and now I will kind of repeat the steps I did previously real quick I will grab the type tool and then I will type my uh, copyright real quick okay and then I maybe let's see I like the type maybe I'll add some drop shadow like I did before and then I will lower the opacity and whenever you do all these steps everything will be recorded into your action so whatever you just did is recorded as you can see all those steps right here and whenever you're done just click on the square next to record button this will stop the recording and then whenever you want to place this watermark the same watermark on a new image you just open the new image and then you highlight this action and you click play signs underneath and as soon as you click the play sign underneath you have the watermark to appear and what good about this I like instead like after this I will show you how to batch process whole bunch of images and put the watermarks on a lot of images in the folder then it will be all automatic but I like this method too because here you have more control instead of put the same watermark into every single image here I can adjust my watermark if you if I want like here for example the background is darker so I can change my opacity a little bit or let's assume I want to place my watermark somewhere else but in the next uh, segment right after this I will show you how to create an action to batch process a lot of images so let's get started with that
Before you create an action for batch processing, you want to sort out your images. And it's a good idea to sort out your images, your resized images, into horizontal images, into vertical, because the watermark might be a little different size or it might be a different placement than watermark, depending if the image is horizontal or vertical. So as you can see in this folder, I have all uh, horizontal images and in this folder I have all vertical images and you want to create a two separate actions one for horizontal images and one for vertical images I also create the, created the folder where all watermarked uh, images will go so or, or my all horizontal watermark images will go to this folder maybe I'll create another one for verticals okay so we close that we go to our Photoshop and as you can see from the previous time we still have our watermarks folder and we want to create a new watermark action which will also allow us to open images and then uh, put the watermark in them and then save them into certain place into that folder where we what we created this is good when you for example have no time to play with watermarks uh, change the placement stuff, you want to put the same watermark on every image let's say you have like hundreds of images you have to give to the client uh, usually when I give images to the client I give them um, images they can print and then also images which they can put to the web which are already resized and which already have my watermark in them uh, because that's a good exposure too, let's say they are putting images on Facebook and uh, people who watch those images will know who these images were taken by. So um, let's create the action for that. We mark this watermark folder and then we add a new watermark by clicking on this icon which looks like a piece of paper. And we will name it watermark and save because this watermarks our images and saves them. But you can call it whatever you want. And we click on record and then we just repeat all the steps we did before but here we will have a few additional steps and let's see clean easy exposure okay. and then uh, let's add our files drop shadow maybe Okay, and lower the opacity. Okay, these steps were recorded. And now some new steps. When you're happy with your watermark, flatten your layers. Highlight all the layers, the background layer and uh, layer where watermark is, and right click. And then there will be this pop up menu. And just click on flatten image. And then we, our image is flattened, it was recorded into the action. And now go to File, Save As. You can find the folder where you want to save them, which is marked horizontal folder. Um, make sure the format is JPEG and click on Save. OK. And the save was recorded right here as well. And then we want to stop our action. Stop our action by clicking on the square. And now we're going to batch process other images which are in our horizontal images folder. So to do that, we go to File, Automate, and Batch. And here it's important to choose the watermark set, which is watermarks, and the action, which is watermark save. Like there is a drop down menu you can choose from. Also, you want to choose your source folder. You click on Choose. And you look for your uh, source folder. In my case, it's resized horizontals where my resized images are, which are not watermarked. I choose this folder. And also, I leave all those um, things unchecked. And then I choose my destination folder. That's where my watermarked images will go. This folder is watermarked horizontals. And click Choose. You can also change the names, but I will just leave it a document name. And when you are done with these, just click OK. 
and the images will start process automatically. And now we can go to our form. Now we all, I only had three images in that folder. It will take longer, of course, if you have more. And now we go to this folder and let's check if our images are watermarked. Yes, images appeared here. Let's see. And as you can see, our images are watermarked with the same watermark. How easy was that? You can also place your logo on the images. And uh, for example, if somebody designed your logo, you designed it, you want to have it on transparent background. And if it's on transparent background, you have like a checkerboard looking image. Like behind, behind your logo, there is like a checkerboard background. And uh, you want it to be saved as PNG file. Why PNG file? Because PNG files uh, can hold transparent backgrounds. Because if you, for example, would save this as a JPEG, background just would turn white. So you have your uh, logo on the PNG file. And then you go to your image. And you know where you save your logo, of course. And then you will click on File. And you click on Place. And then you can find your logo in your folders wherever you saved it. You choose it. As you can see, it's PNG file. And then you click on Place. And the logo will be placed on your image. And then you can scale it and place it wherever you want it to. Like this. And if you want to place your logo on the multiple images, you can build the action the same as I did uh, for uh, watermark logo with a type tool. Um, the only difference is when you record your action, instead of uh, creating the logo with type tool, you go to file and click on place and place your logo. And you can uh, record the same, the same actions as we did for the logo which was typed with a copyright symbol. I hope this video was helpful to you and I see you next time.